Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this minimal 3D UI animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. Now it's very easy to create and you can use these kind of animations in your explainer videos or client projects wherever you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and here I've already imported a couple of these videos and it's completely up to you, you can use any videos, images or whatever assets you want. Just import them in After Effects and you're ready to go. So first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Here we have a basic composition. Now we are going to create another composition for our UI1. Let's call this UI1 and rest of things will remain same. We are only going to change the width and height so i'm going to set both of these to 1000 by 1000 now inside this we are going to create our windows so for that i'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool now just simply click and draw we are going to align it in the center of this comp using the align panel if you're not able to see this then you can go to windows and from here you can enable this now let's select this and we don't want any kind of stroke onto this so i'm going to set this to zero let's make sure that this anchor point is in the center so you can hold on the control key double click on the span anchor tool now we have our shape let's Select this and let's search for size and we are going to play around with these values. So first I want like base of this. So it should be 800 by 450. So this is going to be our base. Let's search for roundness and also I'm going to increase it to let's say 40 or maybe let's set this to 45 or something. I think this looks good. Now once you have this base, we are ready to add our other elements. So for example, I can press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now let's select one of these clips so let's drag this one and i'm going to drag it over here now we want this to be visible through our shape so for that we can use the trackpad option so just click and drag make sure that you are using the trackpad option not the parenting one now the size of this is too big so we can just scale this down till we find something that looks good perfect now in case you are using the older versions then you won't have this pick quick you will have like track mat alpha inverted and all the other stuff so you can just simply update your after effects so you can search for older method how to do the track mat now we can select the bottom layer and let's search for size over here now we can increase its value to let's say 600 because we want to have like this padding as well let's select this space and i'm going to quickly align it to the top there you go both of these shapes are perfectly aligned now we can select the bottom one and i want to have stroke to this so for that we can set this to white let's select the stroke and i want this to be of solid color and let's make it white increase this to let's say 45 now you can see we have this very nice padding maybe we can set this to 40 i think this looks good now once you have everything we are ready to add our other elements so for example i can select the text tool and just click and type whatever you want i have typed my text so here we have our text now it's completely up to you can add any text or any other elements you want in this ui let's duplicate this let's add one more text over here let's type the state and let's select this i'm going to lower down its opacity to 54 and now we can select this let's just scale this down and i can just realign it let's select the text press ctrl d and i'm going to place this one over here let's just add three dots and we can place it to this side as well there you go now we are done with our first ui let me just quickly select all of these and let's just place them in the middle let's enable the title action and i can place it over here now it's in the middle now after this we want to have like colorful stroke outside this so for that we can select the last layer press ctrl d and on this one we can just change the color to let's say this blue color again up to you you can use whatever color you want and let's just increase it a little bit so that we have this very nice outline so we are done with the first ui and we can reuse this to create the other ones as well so for example i can select this press ctrl d and inside the ui2 all i have to do is just select the video clip which we want to replace it so let's select this clip hold on the alt key just click and drag so it will replace it now you can easily scale this and just place it however you want and in the same way you can like change the text so just change the text and let's just quickly place it over here as well and you can change the timing dates whatever details you have in this as well all you have to do is just duplicate the ui and replace the video footage and all the other text so i'm going to fast forward this step till i have for like four uis so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue so now i have created all the other four uis and we have replaced all the 
clear the text and everything. So once you're done with this, we are ready to import everything inside our main comp. But first, let's create a solid. And on this one, let's apply a four color gradient. So let's search for gradient. And we are going to use the this one. So just drag it and quickly change the colors to whatever you want. There you go. So now we have this very nice background. Now we can import all the UIs over here. Let's just move them far away because we are going to first create our button. So for that, again, we can select the rounded rectangle tool. Just click and drag. And let's just align it in the middle. Set the stroke to zero. Fill, we can like play, play with it later on. Let's select this, search for size. And I want this to be, let's say, 800 by 150. Let's select this, search for roundness. Let's increase this to 40. Now you can select the text tool and just type whatever text you have. So here we have our text. Now we can again apply the four color gradient onto this shape layer as well. Just move these closer and just change the look of it by playing around with different colors. So now I have changed the colors and this looks good. We can maybe select our text and just make it like black and also change its color to white. I think this looks good. So we are done with this. Now we can make both of these layers 3D and also let's make all the UIs 3D as well. Now we can select our top text and let's just parent it to this background. So now we are ready to animate everything out. So the animation part is also quite easy. First, we want this to like become visible. So for that, we can select this. Let's add a keyframe for scale. Let's set this to zero. Now we can zoom in and just move a little bit ahead. And I'm going to set this to 100. Now we have this now. If I press play, you can see it simply comes and then stays. But actually, I want to have a little bit of overshoot and more like character to this so for that we can use a simple expression so so you can just go to this motion script website and if i scroll down we have this expression for keyframe overshoot just select this expression and copy it i will put a link in the description to this website so you can just go to this now hold on the alt key click on the stopwatch and just paste it once you have done this if i press play now you can see our element will have little bit of this overshoot we can exp Make it more nice by selecting the first keyframe. Press F9 to easy is this. Now go to the graph editor. If your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Let's change the curve to look like this. Now if I press play, you can see we have this very nice, like popping up animation over here. Now we are ready to add our cursor. So for the cursor, we can like draw it by simply enabling the grid. Let's select the pen tool. Let's just quickly zoom in. I can click over here let's add one click over to this point let's click over here here and here now we can select this and let's just change the cursor to whatever i want i can make it black and just increase it there you go now we have our really nice cursor we don't want to see the grid let's hide this let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center so select this hold on the control key double click on this now we want it to animate and just click on our item Let's press S, just scale this down. Let's press R to give it a really nice angle. There you go. Now we can animate it by adding keyframe for position. Now in the beginning, we want this to be down below over here. Now at this point, it can come in. Maybe we want it to like come up a little later, somewhere around here. Let's select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph and I want it to like look something like that so that it is coming in quick. Now at this point, we can have click by simply adding a keyframe for scale. Let's move like one frame ahead or maybe two frames and just load it down. Something like that. Let's move like two frames ahead and then just simply copy the first keyframe, which is this one and just paste it so that we have this clicking motion. We can select these two keyframes, press F9 as well. Now at this point, we want our shape to like have this little bit of click as well so we can just lower it down a little bit then we can just copy the first keyframe and paste it now if i press play you can see we have this very nice click over here as well there you go now after this we want it to start animating so for that we can select this let's add keyframe for rotation and at this point we can move it to somewhere around here move like a little bit ahead then add a keyframe for scale and just set this to zero so that we are not able to see it Maybe we can move it like more close so that it goes away right after that. Perfect. Now we can focus on this layer and let's move like a little bit ahead. 
Now I want this to rotate in the 3D space. So for that first I want it to like have this like move little bit like that. Now I want it to like rotate in this direction. So I'm going to set this to negative 90. There you go. Now all the other elements which we have over here. But first let's just scale them down. There you go. Now let's add keyframe for rotation. So let's add for XYZ. Let's add keyframe for everything for now. Now at this point as our button is moving in the negative 90 direction, we want these to start from 90 degree so that they are not intersecting. Let's set the Y value to 90 for all of these. Now we can move a little bit ahead. So somewhere around here and just simply move them out. So for that we can add keyframe for the position as well. Let's press P. Let's add keyframe. Let's move them in the beginning. Now again we can press U. Now let's select the first one and we want it to like move in this direction only. So we can like rotate it over here then just simply change its angle and maybe we can move it like that now just simply click and just move it to this side it's up to you can play around with their values now if i press play you can see we have this motion perfect now let's repeat this step for all the other uis as well so this one as well we can just simply set this to Let's just rotate it at a nice angle and we can move it down below. Maybe we can place it over here. Let's give it more space. Now let's select this point and we can move it to over here. Let's play around with these rotations. And at last, let's select this. Let's move it over here. Now we are done with our placements and let's play around with the easing. So we can select these two keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph and we want this to start like really slow and at this point we want this to be like extremely fast and with all of these keyframes we want it to be like opposite so let's press f9 to ease them and all of these will start like really quick and at the end they will be like very slow somewhere around here now if i press play you can see we have all of these coming out and if you think that they are intersecting then you can just select one of these this and just move it like more forward in the z space but then you will have to play around with the scale as well and let's just align it over here so now you can see it is not interacting with it much and you can do the same thing with over here as well let's select this one and let's just bring it more in the z space so that it is closer to our ui now let's just scale this down and just place it wherever we want so now it won't interact with this as well now at last if i press play we have this button coming in then it clicks then it flips and at this point we can have our text as well so just simply select the text tool now we don't want this button to be visible over here so we can select all of these and let's just hold on the alt key here right square bracket so that we can trim it over here there you go now it converts to these select the text tool just click and type whatever you want and it's up to you you can change the color to whatever you want for this example i'm going to just leave it to this black color or otherwise you can use the four color gradient let's increase the size let's align it in the middle somewhere around here now i want this to animate as well so for this one we can just simply search for slide up by word Let's select this preset and just drag it over here let's select this press u and we want these keyframes to be over here so all of these words will slide up but we can select this press u u this position we want it to be like a little bit lower so let's just set this to 400 and now if i press play you can see we have our text coming in maybe 400 400 is too much let's keep it to 200 there you go let me just quickly change its gradient copy paste there you go now we have our text now at last we can have some lens flare so for that let's add a solid and just make it like completely black let's click on ok let's search for lens flare and let's drag it onto this now we can play around with these presets it's up to you you can use whatever you want i'm going to stick with this one let's move it to this location and we want the background to be visible so we can change this to add let's add a keyframe for flare center 
let's press u and in the beginning we want it over here and at this point we want it to move over here maybe a little bit more if you want you can play around with the flare brightness like this but i'm not going to do that i'm going to just leave it over here now if i press play a cursor comes in it clicks on this button then it flips and changes into all of these videos now if you want them to go back into the original position then all you have to do is just move a little bit ahead and then just simply copy these keyframes and just paste it for this just copy and paste and repeat this step for all the other layers as well now we can select these keyframes as well and over here we want the easing to be in the opposite direction so we want them to start like really slow and at last we want them to be like extremely fast now if i press play you can see our cards go out and then they come in and then they go back we can select this text and just move them at the back of everything like this now just pick a place where this text is not visible just somewhere around here we can just simply select this let's add a keyframe for opacity let's move like a couple of frames ahead and just set this to zero maybe a little bit ahead now now at last if i press play a button comes in then we have this click and all these videos go out and then they everything goes back to zero so in this way you can create these kind of 3d ui animations and again you can use them in your client projects explainer videos wherever you want so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.